All right. <laughs> no. You speak French? Not very much. Not... Alva, Alva knows French better, but I, I speak uh, Finnish, Swedish, English, and some German. Mm, good. <laughs> A few, few, few languages. Okay. Uh, so, so it's you, because uh, Anaïs uh, told me it, it will be you or Alva. Yeah, <laughs> Alva, Alva was busy, busy tonight. She, she mm. was able to join because she has a lot, a lot of preparations to do with the, with her kid and everything for the tour. But, yes. uh, but we'll see if we're really lucky, she'll join, but we should start anyway, you know, if, of course, yeah. of course. So this is your first album. Yes. This is our first with Arctis. Yes. Uh, when did you decide to compose and make this album? We had a band prior to this, which was a bit uh, more extreme. And we were making the third album in the studio with a producer. And right from the first song, we noticed that, hey, this feels so very different to what we usually do. So we felt like, hey, Let's make a completely new band out of this, you know, and follow the follow the, the old way down the rabbit hole and see where it takes us. And so that became Arctis and this album. It was, uh, I think we started in 2018 and the album was done by 2020, but we didn't release it due to the pandemic. We waited until uh, we could go and play live. Of course. Mm, the first single is also the first song written. Um, is there a story uh, behind the song? Yes, we have a story behind I'll Give You Hell. It's actually not the first song ever written for, for Arctis. It's actually WWM is the first one we ever wrote with Arctis. But I'll Give You Hell is one of, I think it's the last one or the second last song we've written because we felt like hey we're gonna need a faster song on the album we need something more up tempo and action we need something in the style of this so me and Mika the drummer we had we had had a speed writing session I think a year prior to the finishing of the album we were like let's write, just write a song for fun for in two hours and we were super chaotic and hectic and then we've made a song in two hours it sounded very differently to what we hear now which is i'll give you hell but that was the foundation for i'll give you hell okay um so you knew each other before the band yes you, you were friends yes we we have been playing in different bands over the years me and Mika, the drummer, I've known him since 2003, I think. So 21 years at this point. And uh, yeah, Michael joined in 2011 and then Alva joined in 2015. The bassist, Mats, I've known him since 2006. So it's uh, a very tight group of people. Yes, it's um, also a friendship between all of yeah. you yes for it's, a long uh, time yes it's uh, in, in that sense it's a very traditional band that has come from the garage you know and uh, like the old, old like the old days um so each song is a story and is there a link between uh, all there there are overarching themes i would say on the album because we have the songs are separate in that sense because they are they are their own story, but uh, I would say we have themes of freedom and self realization. That's the important themes for us. The song "Frozen Swan," for an instance, is you know practically and technically speaking, if a swan stays too long in Finland and doesn't go south when the winter comes, the swan will freeze there and die. Because mm -hmm. they, if they don't fly in time, the water freezes over to ice and then they're stuck. 
But that's an analogy to our lives that if we don't start going now out in the world, we will be stuck here and then we will fade away. That's a very personal song for us about making your dreams come true or at least following your passion. That's the important thing for us there. But then songs such as No Slave, the chorus is I have no gods and no masters. You know, it's a, it's like a love song for rebellion, if you will. You know, it's uh, that's uh, what we wanted with that song. And then we have songs like Remedy and Theater of Tragedy with deal with inner struggle. But mainly with our songs, we don't really want to say too much what they're about because it's more important for us what people make of them, you know, and to their own stories. And you spoke about rebellion. Uh, that's why you have a uh, ice queen re rebel. <laughs> yeah, the ice queen. Ice queen is out to do stuff in the world, take back what's hers, you know. So it's rebelling against structures. <laughs> <laughs> and the other magicians. Uh, what else? The captain. <laughs> yeah, I'm the captain. What yeah. represents? Uh, these uh, nicknames it's actually an enhanced side of our personalities Alva is actually like an ice queen because she is fire and ice and believe it or not she is actually a bit French her relatives mm -hmm. you know come from long back from France so she is fire and ice there's a lot of emotion you know in that package <laughs> and yeah but these uh, stage personas or characters they are merely there just to enhance a bit of ourselves you know i am a bit of a captain because i love the sea and i my i drove my first boat when i was six years old and that was a nine meter long fishing boat mm -hmm. so yeah there are some truth to it and michael is the perhaps most mystic one of us so he is the magician he sits in his tower and mixes music you know so that's very much very soothing for him and then mika the drummer the sage he is that in a sense because he loves to self-educate himself he loves books you know and if there is like anything that he has to find out he will find a course for it you know or or a book i can understand I books. <laughs> um the art the artwork in in the shades yeah. of blue, uh, it's a reference to ice. Yeah, I we gave very free reigns for Holger Fichte when he made the artwork for the album. We we had a discussion me and him about what art this is and not, and it was a very nice and intelligent discussion because it's. It gave him some borders where he, in which inside he has to stay, but mm -hmm. then he also had to total absolute freedom inside those borders to make anything he wanted. And uh, I really like the cover because, yeah, I I interpret it as it would be like our music. You know, you have this big iceberg coming up, you know, from the sea, and then there's the crown on top, and you can. I, I see it like it's the metal guitars, drum and bass with the pop crown on top, you know, describing our music. Mm. That's that's how I choose to see it. <laughs> okay. Um, there is a cover. Yeah. Yes. One song is a cover. What what does it mean for you? This cover? Well, when, when we grew up, I, I started to listen to metal in like 2001 or something like that. I listened to Rammstein in uh, in secret <laughs> so, because in my school you were supposed to listen to hip hop, but I listened to Rammstein, you know, in secret. <laughs> and uh, besides from Rammstein, we had on the radio actually Lambretta playing Bimbo. So I remember it when it came out and I listened to it then and thought this is a really catchy, nice song. And over the years, I listen to it every now and then, you know, because uh, before Spotify existed, you know, there were Google video and YouTube. So you had all these like separate videos up and then you just clicked between them and listened to them, you know, all night long. But yeah, and I listened to Bimbo. I remember that that's a really good song. It would be fun to cover it someday. 
And uh, then it was suggested to us by someone inside the team that, hey, you guys should do bimbo because it would suit your style so well. So then we were like, yeah, let's do it. And the funny thing is that uh, Mika, the drummer, he didn't really like the song back then, but uh, it's funny how life works. Now he has to play it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, but it has grown on him, so he likes it nowadays. Uh, I didn't know the the song before. Uh, oh. In France, we have Well, the, then, then we have done done a favor to the or original artist. <laughs> uh, <coughs> um, so uh, the tour, you will tour with um, Apocalyptica. Yes. Soon. Soon. Yes. Yes. Very soon, actually. Yes. In uh, wh when? Uh, when? The first is 11th of November, and that's in Luxembourg. Yes, it's... Mm. And then France is quite soon after, because it's very close by. So we, I think on my birthday, we are in uh, Bordeaux, I think, you know, something like that. Yes, you have three dates in, uh, yes. in French. Yes. Yeah. So it's pretty soon and yeah we have started the rehearsals and everything and it sounds great i think it's going to be really nice because in a way the songs are even more heavier when you play them live because uh, the guitars and everything comes to life so much differently mm -hmm. and metal music is live music in my opinion so this is what matters for us it's a good opportunity for uh, for you you oh, you begin yeah. and it's great yeah, absolutely Absolutely. And it could not be better because, you know, also when I started to listen to metal, that's that is when Apocalyptica started. So it feels very nice to be with them now on their Jubilee tour, you know, <laughs> being there and opening for them. So it's an honor. Yes. Not too stressed? Not really. I'm more stressed about the equipment side because uh, I want everything to work fine. If we get a fair chance, you know... Uh, and everything works, then we're going to do a great job. I'm, I'm really confident of that because we have put so much work into everything. So I think, yes, of course, there might be someone who doesn't like the music, but there will be, it will be a nice banging show, I'm sure. Yeah, so maybe if I can, uh, I would like to see you. Yeah, I would love you. You, you have a date uh, in Paris. Yes. Absolutely. If you have the time, please come and say hi, you know, and see us play and and watch yes. Apocalyptic. You know, that would be a an awesome night. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you like to add something else of, about the album? Yeah, it's uh, it's. Yeah, I think it's it's our first album in that sense. Mm -hmm. The sound has already developed a bit, you know, because uh, as I said, it was done in twenty twenty. We have been writing songs during the pandemic so we are currently working on our second album also and arctis is a workaholic band in that sense so i think think you will we will see new music quite soon again yes uh, even after the album you know but i can't say anything more than that but, but yeah we're really proud of the first album because it's uh it's uh it was a different level you know compared to what we used to do music before and uh, everyone came together, you know, as a team. Before it was mainly me who was writing the music, but in Arctis, everyone is part of the songwriting. So you can hear that Alva has been there. You can hear that Mika, Mats and Michael has been there. And of course, the producer, Jimmy Vestlund, did a great job. And you have projects after the tour? Yes, we will go back and finish the second album. And yes. then we will do more music videos. And there are a few live dates next year, but I can't really say anything. But we will be busy. Okay. Um, how can you define your universe? Do you mean the music or? Yes, your music. Yes. It's, it's quite hard, actually. <laughs> but essentially, it is uh, metal you know, with EDM synthesizer, pop synthesizer and pop vocals in that sense. 
that's how I see it. It's a nice and cool mixture with something different. And uh, I, I like how it sounds. It's very natural for us. It was something that came organically in the process. But I know that we have been described as modern metal, and that's a very broad uh, definition because anything can be modern metal in that sense. Anything that's uh, trying to evolve, you know, and mm. go into different genres. But yeah, I would would say that modern metal is good in that sense because we fit into it. But who knows? Perhaps this is some ice core or something like that. <laughs> Because we can put in modern metal a lot of things. It's um, abstract. So. Yes, it's very abstract <laughs> and big. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I think we said a lot. Uh, do you want to add something or it's okay for you? Yeah, I can add something. You yes. know, for, for your readers or listeners, I, I hope that you will check out the new album that we're going to release and come out to our shows come and say hi and uh, if you do, if you just want to listen to the music please write and comment you know what you think about the music because we do read the comments and we lo would love to hear what you think and uh, yeah there's uh, the album is dropping November 1st worldwide yeah. so that's pretty soon and uh, there is also coming a, another video for that oops <laughs> so okay. yeah we're, we're we're psyched to hear what you think <laughs> so thank you very much and thank you so hope to see you soon in paris yeah i'll see you there on the show cool yes thank you thank you thank you bye bye bye